In this session, we will going to learn about SAML flows. So to apply single sign-on using SAML, you can initiate user login either from identity provider or from service provider. And both have different flows. So we will going to discuss the first one that is identity provider initiated SAML flow. So in this flow, the first step is the user logs into the identity provider. The identity provider initiated login by sending a cryptographically signed SAML response to the service provider. The SAML response contains a SAML assertion that tells the service provider who the user is. Then the service provider validates the signature in the SAML response and identify the user. Then the user is now logged in to the service provider. So let's visualize the flow. So in this flow, we can see that we have user, identity provider, service provider, and a trust. So before initiate the flow explanation, I'm taking this flow with an example that for identity provider, I'm taking that as Google and service provider, I'm taking Salesforce. So basically a user want to access Salesforce and to authenticate the user, we have Google. So in the first step, the user going to log in to the Google, which is the identity provider. The identity provider sends a SAML response to the service provider. The service provider validates the SAML response assertion file using the trust that both the service provider and identity provider shares between them. Once the service provider validates the SAML response, it will go in to allow the user to access the service provider that is Salesforce. So in the next session, we will going to learn the other flow that is service provider initiated SAML flow.